say whatever you want to say and in today's video I'm gonna be showing y'all a get ready with me to really just stay home and take pictures because there's nothing else to do this, this quarantine got us trapped in and a lot of places are closed and we can't really go anywhere or do anything so since there's nowhere to go and nothing to really do I'm just gonna be staying home doing my makeup doing my hair and taking pictures and you know posting more videos making more content for y'all so yeah so yeah, in this video, I'm just basically showing you guys how I get ready to take my pictures and how I get ready to, you know, make some content for YouTube or whatever. Um, yeah, I'm just showing y'all my hair, my makeup, and I don't know about my outfit. I don't know if I'm gonna do a three one get ready with me yet. I'm just gonna see how this video goes. Maybe it will, maybe it won't be. I don't know what I'm naming this yet, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, before we get to the video, I just want to say my bad for being gone for a month. I don't know if y'all miss me. I don't know. But if y'all did, <laughs> always do this and I'm so tired of myself doing this and I really need to stop it. But hopefully this little quarantine break really helps me get back on track with everything that I need to do. Well, it will because I'll make sure of it. So before we get into this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at PrincessJanaeO. And also turn on my bell notification so you can be notified anytime I post a new video because like I said, I'm going to get back on track with this little break. So I'm going to be posting more and more content so y'all don't want to miss it. <laughs> Right now I'm about to wrap my hair up in the bonnet so my hair can be out of my out of the way when I'm doing my makeup because I'm gonna start on my makeup first and then go to my hair after because that's just the order I like to do it in. So throughout this video I am gonna be you know talking in some parts and then and then in other parts I'm gonna be you know letting it just run through while I'm like washing something on my laptop because yeah, I like to wash things while I'm doing my makeup because it just helps me slow down and not rush. So I'm be going in and out. Yeah, y'all like my bonnet, my little little chaton bonnet. <laughs> I don't know, I don't want to look like a grandma in here, but it's just like whatever, bonnet is a bonnet. So if y'all want to know where I got my bonnet from, I got it from Miami Princess Boutique on Instagram, and that's actually my shop on Instagram. It's a new little shop I have because I did slow down with the lip gloss for right now because I don't feel like it's a good time because of, you know, the virus that's going around. So I just wanted to take a pause on that and I went and started something new. So yeah, this is my little boutique and um, I have bonnets and headbands. That's like the designer and I have matching bonnets and headbands as well. And I also plan on getting matching do-rags as well. Yeah, y'all could just head over to my Instagram page, Miami Princess, Miami Princess Boutique and y'all can see all of the prints that I have. I do have a lot of different colors. So if y'all want to check that out, then go ahead and do that. These are actually some of the other colors that I have. I have like, here's the matching headband for this bonnet, the black Louis Vuitton. And then I also have it in this green color and then this, you know, army color. Also have another um bonnet, the same one as this, but instead in red. Here I also have another matching one, but instead this one is pink and white. And then I have another one, which is the same one as this one, but instead it has the colorful print on it. And here I have a Fendi bonnet too, and this one is pink and black, a hot pink. I don't know, it looks like it's coming up red on the camera, but it's actually hot pink. I, maybe I do have a red one. I already have so much that I really have to just go back and look. I also have this blue MCM print as well, and I also have the matching headband to this. So yeah, you guys, that's not even half of the prints and colors that I have. If y'all want to check them out, go to my Instagram, my Young Princess Boutique, and you can find them there. And also, y'all, I sell these necklaces, like these tennis initial necklaces. But yeah, this is like the tennis necklace, and I'm sure you guys have seen this all over Instagram before. I'm going to insert some pictures so y'all can see exactly what I'm talking about because I know y'all seen them on Instagram before. But yeah, you guys, with that being said, I'm going to jump straight into my makeup right now. So yeah, you guys, right now, the first thing I'm going to do is just get this little eyebrow pencil and just go in and shape my eyebrows because I haven't did that in a while so they are kind of crazy so I just want to go ahead and fix that and I did like zoom the camera in so I could get a better close-up but like not too close because I don't want to look crazy and um if you see me looking down I'm looking down at my mirror right here because I have it so you know get a better view quarantine break i know a lot of y'all are out of school if y'all are out of school for the whole semester then you're lucky 
I don't know if I'm out of school yet for the whole semester or just until like the end of April. I'm still waiting to see how long I'm gonna be out of school. It's just that nobody really knows because one day it could be, you know, like how it is now and then tomorrow it could get like 10 times worse and we have to be out longer. So we're just waiting to see really. Um, but yeah, y'all tell me what y'all been doing during the break. I need some things to do, honestly. I really haven't been doing anything but just waking up, eating, being on my phone. And yeah, sometimes I'll eat like one time a day, to be honest. But yeah, y'all. Um, and also, the only thing I've been doing is really just, you know, doing my makeup in here and taking pictures. I haven't posted too many. I posted like six, and it's like... You know, not even that much. But yeah, y'all just tell me what y'all doing during the break because I need some ideas. Okay. But yeah, when I say things, I mean things to do like alone, okay? Because sometimes I really just want to sit home and chill by myself. So I need some things to do like, you know, on my own. So now I'm done shaping my eyebrows. And y'all, let me tell y'all, I've been getting so much better at doing my eyebrows, to be honest. Like, in my opinion, it might not be that great to y'all, but to me, it's really a huge step. Because I've never, ever, ever been to someone to, like, get my eyebrows done. I never got them waxed or, like, threaded or whatever. I always just use this. And, um, I never really, I never had my eyebrows professionally done, professionally done. Um, like I never got, did I ever get my makeup done? I got my makeup done one time in my life, like professionally. And, um, it was good, but I feel like she didn't really do my eyebrows how I, how I would wear it on like a regular day. So I really had to work and learn how to do it on my own. But yeah, after I do my eyebrows, y'all let me know down in the comments if they really made an improvement because I know y'all could go back and watch my old videos to see my eyebrows wasn't really the best. So y'all let me know if I got better or anything because yeah, I need some feedback. So right now I'm taking my milk of magnesia. Is it magnesia or magnesia? I say magnesia, whatever. If you don't know why I'm using this, I'm about to tell y'all. Um, a lot of people who do makeup, like professionally, like do other people's makeup and everything, I've always seen them using this on their client's face to like make the makeup matte. And me, I always just thought it was just like for when you want your makeup professionally done. And also, um, when it kind of became viral, I guess you could say, because it was already popular before because I've always seen this, but I never just thought of it as using it every day. Well, not every day, but like as a, you know, everyday makeup routine or whatever. So yeah, I recently just been giving this a try, um, applying it to my face before I put on my makeup and just seeing what it does. And I honestly love it. Like me, I love a matte makeup look. Let me get my stuff ready while I'm talking because I'll keep on talking. But um, yeah, me, I love a matte makeup look because I feel like it looks so professional and so put together. And me, I don't feel like I could pull off the dewy kind of makeup look because I feel like it'll just look too sweaty on me. So yeah, I love a matte look and this really does give me that every single time. So yeah, that's really what I've been using for my makeup. Well, to put on before my makeup. But before anything, I always still put on my primer and this is the Maybelline New York Master Prime. So yeah, I just apply that to my face before anything. Well, not before anything, I just did my eyebrows, but you know, this is the first product I put on my face. Oh wait, no, I'm just playing you guys. This is not the first product I put on my face. Um, Before I started the video, I put on this little moisturizer on my face so my face wasn't so dry or, you know, ashy looking. So yeah, um, always moisturize your face before and then I put on my primer. I feel like I should just put my primer on my finger instead of applying it straight to my face because... I've been having some really, really, really bad breakouts lately. Hold on. But yeah, you guys, I've been having some really, 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 really bad, horrible breakouts lately. Um, I don't know if you can see it from this far, but I have really like two or three huge pimples in one spot right here, and it's just so bad. Like, I never got breakouts like this ever before. Like, I mean, of course, I used to get, um, a couple bumps and stuff on my face like about three of them but like right now they are just all over the place like my forehead both of my um cheeks my chin all of that and it's just really making me sad honestly i feel like my voice gets annoying on camera i don't know let me stop overthinking before 
before I just stop this video. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and start rubbing the primer in and letting it set while I do my eyebrows. To be honest, this is a really good primer, especially for like a drugstore type of makeup look. Um, this is really good. I got it from Walmart, so I bet you can find it there at your local Walmart, or whatever. And out of all the drugstore primers I ever used, this is really the best one ever. So yeah, Maybelline sponsor me for real. <laughs> so yeah, Maybelline sponsor me, okay? Sponsor me. Mm. <laughs> so while I have the primer set it in, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my eyebrows. So for my eyebrows, I always use this NYX Tamer Frame um, eyebrow kind of tinted brow gel or something like. Well, not gel, but pomade. And it's in the color espresso. Yeah, I love it. This is really my go-to. Like once I run out, I go back and get another one. I think this is my third jar, to be honest. Now, before when it was like really popular and brand new and going viral, I guess you can say. Um, I did used to use the Anastasia or Anastasia, however you want to say it. Her little eyebrow um pomade that's really identical to this. It's really the same thing, but you know the different brands makes the pricing different. But it really does work the same and that's like twenty dollars and me i didn't want to but once i ran out i didn't really want to go and pay twenty dollars for another one because to be honest in my opinion that is kind of expensive for some eyebrow gel but to be honest i will buy it again because i honestly did like it and i don't really have a problem paying for it it's just like i wasn't thinking about um i just didn't want to pay for it and just be using it so fast especially the time I was gonna buy it I still wasn't as good as I am right now with my eyebrows so I feel like it was really just gonna go to waste and I feel like um and also since I wasn't really good at doing my eyebrows I was gonna have to practice with that one and I didn't want to keep messing up with that one so I don't know I feel like I'm talking so much but yeah so I just one day went ahead and used this next one and I fell in love with it so this is really something I use every day like me I don't even wear makeup everywhere I go to be honest um i'll the most i'll do is just do my eyebrows and that's it but yeah i don't put on makeup like a full face every day and i'm not trying to say that it's like oh i'm one of those girls that's like those pick me girls because i hate them like oh my god i don't need makeup like no the only reason i don't do it every day i would if i could honestly because i just love to do my makeup um even though i'm not the best i, I just want to get better so i love doing it so I really don't have a problem wearing it every day. It's just that I be in school every day and I really don't want to do all of that just to go and see those kids. So it's just like, you know what? I'm not going to do it today. I really just do it when I'm home or if I'm going somewhere, which I rarely do. So yeah. But I want to start going more places just so I can have an excuse to do my makeup, to be honest. <laughs> I really want to learn to do my eyebrows how to be having on Instagram like the really ombre eyebrow because I love that effect it's really so it's like so sexy to me I'm gonna put some pictures up so y'all see what I'm talking about if I find some pictures I don't know but yeah I really want to learn to do my eyebrows like that I don't know how they do it it's like I've watched the makeup tutorial and everything on how they do it and it just never works but yeah you guys I just want to learn to do my eyebrows like that but for now I'm still making progress so Oh, my voice be cracking. I feel like it looks weird on camera. I don't know. It was look, it was okay doing this one because it's right here, but I don't know. I feel like because I'm left-handed, I do things weird, and everything I do looks weird with my hands. So I don't know if I if I look crazy on camera right now. And my arm is hurting. I'm having to go all the way to this brow. It never hurts like this. Oh my goodness. I need to learn how to um, use both of my aunt, both of my hands because uh, I be weird on sometimes. Also, another thing is that I'm trying to go fast in this video, well, not too fast, because when I see other people's videos of them doing a get ready with me, like a three in one or what they do, like multiple things or whatever, they could do their makeup, their hair, and find their outfit and everything like so fast well i know it's a video so of course it's edited to make it look faster but at the same time they're still able to put in the whole process in a couple minutes but me when i do it and i have to do the whole process i just have to cut the process short when i'm editing because it's still too long and i also know that some people like to use this as a primer overall but like i showed y'all already put on my primer and yeah, I'm just, I was supposed to put this in. I forgot to put this on while I was doing my eyebrows. So, so um, 
it's gonna fit dry by now, but whatever, I'm doing it now. So I just like to use this brush so I could put on a thin layer of it. You don't wanna put on a thick layer because, like I said before, this does need to dry, and when it dries, it turns white. So you don't wanna overdo it because the white, even though the makeup will cover like the white, it still can look a little crazy. So just don't overdo it. And do y'all see how, how thin the layer is? So yeah, I just do that every time. A little goes a long way. And it's really like you just paint in your face. That's pretty what it feels like. Like I have this little paintbrush. And I know y'all can see it turning white already. So yeah, that's just what it does. But on um, me, it's like when I wear makeup, even matte makeup, like I'll get matte foundations and my makeup will still look oily. So this is the only thing that's been really helping my makeup not look so so oily. So yeah, you guys, I'm back and I just let it dry up more and it's completely dry now. And um, I do have it all on my face if you can't see. I know it doesn't look so dry up here because it didn't turn white or down here. But it is dry. Um, And yeah, as I told you guys, it is going to turn white, but it's perfectly fine. I'm going to show y'all how to, you know fix it or whatever and this is why i was telling y'all not to put a thick layer and just put a thin layer because this is only a thin layer and a thin layer and look and you can already see how you know matte my face is so the foundation i'm going to be using today is juvia's place and this is the i am magic velvety matte foundation and my color is 300 and this is a full coverage foundation and i really really love this and i also don't have to mix this with any other color like this is my exact color and something i like to do before i you know apply the foundation to my face is i like to get this setting spray and this is the nyx radiant finish setting spray and this one is like a tannish color it doesn't spray clear or anything it does have like a small kind of tint to it and it does have glitter in it so when you spray it on your face you will have that shimmer but it's not too harsh to where you just see it a lot i'm gonna show y'all it's like really faint unless you like really close you can see it on your face with like some light hitting you but it's not that bad y'all i really love this one i always used to use the matte one but now i just this is my go-to the radiant finish one and i like to have my brush wet with the setting spray while i'm pushing in my foundation so it could just you know blend more making sure like there's no harsh lines because it might not look like it but when you take pictures it will show up so I just like to make sure and then after my face dries I'm just gonna go in and apply my lashes I got these lashes from the beauty supply store and I don't have the package in for no. So I don't know what brand these are, my bad y'all. But yeah, I'm just gonna apply these off camera. But anyways, yeah, I'm about to get into doing my hair. I feel like I gotta got a box hair. Well, my head, my these edges is making my hair look so boxy at the top. I gotta fix them. But I'm about to get into the hair details. But I'm gonna start doing that once I start doing my hair, like working on it and everything, because I'm still trying to decide how I wanna do my hair. I don't know if I wanna leave it in the, in this like little curl state or like comb them out or flat iron it or apply some other curls in it I don't know I I'm honestly not in the mood to do my whole head again because I just did it yesterday but yeah I'm gonna just come back once I decide what I want to do with my hair okay you guys I'm back with what I want to do with my hair so I just decided that I'm gonna just leave these curls in because I really like how they drop and I really love the effect that it's giving right now, especially with this middle part. So I just want to, you know, tame it a little more and get rid of the flyaways and just have it like in this little curly state. So uh, I'm going to just retouch my hair basically. But you guys, I want you to ask me some questions so I can do a Q&A because I don't know. I feel like I feel like that would be a way for us to well for you guys to get to know me better because I want to just be like some stranger to y'all so down below or in my DMs ask me some questions for a Q&A it could be anything or also if you have some video requests that you guys want me to do you can do that too drop some of those 
because I really just, I just love listening to y'all and just hearing what y'all got to say. So yeah, just do that and let me know. Um, I like to use this mousse, this like um foaming lotion mousse to do my edges because um, it doesn't really give me like a harsh effect of my edges. It really gives me like the soft edge look. I don't really like the harsh edge look where it looks like it's so hard and too much gel. I really like it to be like the, you know, soft kind. So. And I also like to take this clear gel, this clear ice gel. And I just like to use that to um, apply it to right here to like give it like that going back effect. But at the same time, the one thing I like about this gel is that it doesn't, when it dries, it doesn't get so hard. So I could always just, you know, brush it out real quick and it'll be back soft and it doesn't really mess up with the hair. So um, I'm about to give y'all the details of this hair. So this hair is from Max Glam Hair. Yeah, this is the package and it came in and it just, it looks pink inside. When they did send me this hair, it did come with a pack of two nude caps. So yeah, this hair is 26 inches and the density is 150. I paid $170 for this hair. I mean, I paid $147 for this hair. Well, basically almost 150. But yeah, this hair like 150 for 26 inches. I feel like that's an amazing price. And this hair doesn't have any shedder, you guys. Like out of all the wigs that I've got from um, AliExpress, this it really is my favorite one. And I'm not just saying that either because this video wasn't even sponsored. They did not send me this hair. I just went and purchased it on my own with my own money. And I will honestly do it again because this hair is just so, first of all, it's full. Second of all, it doesn't have any shedding. It didn't come with a bad smell or anything. And it really does last long. Like this is my third install with this wig, like back to back to back. The frontal, like you know on most wigs, when you get like a lace front wig, it starts to shed a lot over time. Like the, especially the frontal part, it really does start to start balding. But I didn't have that, but I don't have that problem yet. This is only the third install. But all I'm trying to say is that I did test this wig out. You know, I gave it a good amount of chances. So this wig is really, and this wig is really holding up. Like really, all I gotta do is just get some conditioner and you know, um, wash the lace really fast or wash the whole thing and then, and then just reapply it and it looks, it's brand new like the first time I applied this wig. And I did have to bleach and pluck the knots on this wig, but it wasn't too much to where I was getting tired. And um, it, really, it really was a fast process, so it was nothing too much of it. You know, this is like the same thing you have to do on most wigs that you get. I don't know, it doesn't say anything about the frontal, but I don't know what kind of frontal this is, but it really is thin and does blend in very, very good. So I will definitely, definitely, definitely this hair again my own money or not like if they reach out to me i'm gonna be so surprised like oh. because i already love their hair so it's just like <laughs> speaking of y'all might as well should just you know send me something because you know free promo gotta give me something but yeah i love this hair i think this might be my new favorite um hair company on aliexpress honestly because this wig is just whoo do me justice okay give me body <laughs> Let me stop, let me stop. But yeah, um, this wig is the bomb.com. Honestly, honestly, honestly. But yeah, um, I'll also link this hair down in the description box below so you know exactly where to go to purchase it. But yeah, I like to give this little, I don't know if you can see it this far, but like this little curve effect right here on my hair, like on my hairline right here. Say it like some give it some definition. I don't know, but um, yeah, I just love that look, especially when it's the middle part. So now I'm just going to fix in the other side of my edges, and I kind of feel like my edges is really giving me a boxy kind of look, and it's not really like that in person. Like, oh my god, it looks so much better in person than it is on camera, and it's really bothering me. I don't know, I might just be overreacting. I gotta go back and look at it, but it's bothering me. I feel like y'all can't really see the definition right here. So it does look kind of weird since you can't really see it. Should I get closer? I don't know, y'all. My wig does not look that crazy, <laughs> or it might not even look crazy. I don't know. But anyways, yeah. So like I said, I am just gonna leave it in these curls that it is now. Oh yeah, you guys, this is straight hair. Like the um natural texture of this hair is straight. It isn't body wave or anything. So I put these curls in myself. And for some straight hair, like this hair is so 
thick but like a good kind of thick actually but yeah i'm just gonna take this oil sheen and this is from olive oil the o well or ors yeah i'm just gonna spray a little i don't like to spray too many products in my hair because it starts to weigh it down and then i have to keep on washing it to wash the products out so my hair doesn't start to look so greasy and weighed down so i just spray a little bit and i just washed this wig yesterday so it's not even any product on it so yeah and you see how it gives my hair like a shine, but it doesn't overdo the shine, so yeah. I, I tried to dye this hair um, like a jet black, but I didn't leave it in, in the water long enough because I was trying to watercolor it. So yeah, it didn't stay. I don't know why I didn't leave it in long enough. Like, I already didn't let it sit. I already just dumped it in and with the wash it. It's just like, girl, what? Like, no. Like, it might be different when it comes to um, 613 hair and like... If you're dyeing it pink and blue or something because it does take the water i mean the color faster but i feel like if you're dyeing it black then like it really needs time to just get in there and actually you know reach every strand and actually stay to finish touching up my hair i just have these little loose curls in so now i'm gonna show y'all my outfit i guess um i'm not about to go and take any pictures right now so i'm not changing into anything but i am I, I feel like the outfit I have on is like a cute little chill outfit to walk around the house in. So I guess I'll show it, okay? But, um, so yeah, like I showed before, I'm wearing this chain from Miami Princess Boutique. You know, go get at them, go, well, go get at me. <laughs> and, um, I just have on my little Apple Watch. And I just have on this, oops, I just have on this t-shirt that I got from Forever 21. And it just has Mona Lisa on it. And it says Influencer in hot pink letters. And then I just have on my... I was texting me. Well, I just have on my Adidas tights, these black Adidas tights. And that's really it. And that's all I'm chilling in for today. Feel like this is a cute outfit for the films at the end, and I might just go and chill in it. So yeah, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Princess Janae O. And if you like this video, then don't forget to you know let me know down in the comment section below. And also um comment some of the things that I was talking to y'all about. So you know if you want to see if y'all I want to do a Q and A. Well yeah, ask me down below or ask me in my DMs on Instagram. But oh yeah, go and shop Max Glam hair. Like I said, this isn't sponsored, but this wig is really the bomb. And I love it. So, yeah. Also, if y'all need some bonnets, I got y'all some bonnets, headbands, do-rags. I'm your girl.